Born Yesterday: The Diary of a Young Journalist by James Solheim, illustrated by Simon James. July 7th. Talk about unexpected. I was in the dark thinking about my future career as a writer when suddenly I was in this cold pan and a lady was rubbing me all over with a towel. I wasn't wearing so much as a hair ribbon and horror, my mom and dad were there. If I'd known I was going to be born in public, I'd at least have put on a tank top. July 9th. Met my big sister for the first time today. She is like some kind of monkey bar superstar or something. She can do all kinds of unbelievable things like flip, skip, keep a bug running in circles in her macaroni dinner, and put on her shirt so the buttons line up, almost. Note to myself, imitate that girl, just imitate her. Every second of every day, be just like her. But first, learn to roll over. August 18th. I keep wanting to bat at this thingy hanging over my crib. I don't know what it is about that thingy. I mean, it's only a green star shape on a string, but it twirls and sparkles and taunts me. I wave at it and miss. I wave at it. I miss again. I try and try and yet I can't hit it. My sister can hit it. Plus, she has her very own hairbrush and mosquito bite. Me, I have exactly zero hairbrushes. That is so unfair. I have a hair too. September 8th. I'm not sure what kindergarten is, but to get in, I think kids have to make mud pies. The mayor chooses the best pies and the winning kids get to be kindergartners. My sister already is a kindergartner, so she must be really talented or she knows someone important like the bus driver. Kindergartners get to study advanced subjects like pasta art, Friendship Corner, and the hardest one of all, sitting still for a full minute with hands folded. I heard my sister is the only one who can do that, and she can play a harmonica with her eyes shut, an important life skill. October 28th. My big sister took me to see the world today. I hate to admit this, but I thought there were only a couple of places on earth, maybe three or four tops. But my sister, she's like this worldly super chick that knows everything. She knows where the leaves are that can tickle. She knows where the best anthills are and how to operate a popsicle. She even let me take a lick. I think she may secretly be a genius. November 1st. Guess what? My hands can do more than just write. They can grab things. I made a mental list of things to grab. Cats, ears, elephants, ankles, Vermont. On the subject of ankles, I didn't realize they were part of me, so I bit one. Ow! Good thing nobody was looking. My reputation would be so ruined. November 14th. Today, my sister pushed my stroller. Along with some spit bubbles, I made sounds. Take me to Fun World. Fun World but she just kept pushing me to her junky old piano lesson. Fun world, fun world, I whispered. She shoved a big pink bunny into my face. Ooh, soft. I giggled up some more spit bubbles. I grabbed and wrestled and hugged that big old bunny. Then I realized she wanted me to forget about fun world, but no, fun world is my dream. That and getting hold of the fuzzy ear thing next to my face. January 6th. Nobody has told me this for sure, but I think people grow. So I keep looking at my hand. I put my fist in my mouth, trying to feel sprouting teeth. Nothing. Everybody else gets old, drinks lemonade, answers the phone, runs the seven minute mile. I do nothing except spit up. I must focus, focus. Up, down, up, down. Fling that food, make it fly. With my new high chair workout, I plan to be big by Friday. February 23rd. Why is nobody taking me to school? Ever since I was born, it's like they've been avoiding the subject. I mean, come on, 
My sister gets to go to school. My babysitter gets to go to school. Even my dog Foofy goes to school. If this goes on much longer, I will have to contact the mayor. March 22nd. Finally, I have it figured out. Some things are noses, some are taxicabs, and some are Belgians. The up end of people is their hairstyles, and the down end is their tootsie wootsies. These tootsie wootsie things are fascinating. I plan to write a book about them. My sister paints her tootsie wootsie nails a special color called striped. I can't wait till I can paint my tootsie wootsie nails the color called striped and thus become a super chick person like my sister. For now, I just lift them to my mouth and suck. April 17th. Boys are similar to people, except they make funny sounds. When this boy item came to visit, my sister ignored me almost forever. So I banged on my crib. But my sister still smiled at this boy item and blurted out that she once ate a cricket. He answered with the loudest burp in history. It was obvious they liked each other. I started to wail. My sister ignored me even worse. Note to myself, wailing does not work. Try wheedling. May 10th. My sister tells Foofy everything and gives him half her donut holes. Me, she tells nothing. All I get is a pacifier, which is this pretend food on a ring, as if I won't notice it's fake. Hey sis, do I look like some kind of naive newborn or something? When I grow up to be a famous author, my sister will be sorry. I will write my own commercials starring her as Miss Mouthwash, the queen of bad breath. May 20th. Tragedy! My sister has read my diary. I am so embarrassed. Worse than embarrassed. I may just be a jello head by morning. As soon as I saw her reading it, I shut my eyes tight. Pretend tight, that is. I left one eye open just enough to watch her. She laughed and laughed at my collected writings, then shook her head at me. I could only cry. I guess I'm not her friend like Foofy is. She never laughs at Foofy. Maybe I'll take a job as a baby in a different family. If I could just roll close enough to the front door to hell a cab. May 22nd. When my sister came home from school today, she was the one crying. Big battling gaps of air. Monster hiccups of sorrow. She crawled into my crib and held me. She said, you always listen and you only laugh with me, not at me. You are my best friend. Me? Her best friend? This was amazing news. I was so relieved that I tried to eat her hair. June 30th. We have started a club. It's called Young Authors of the World. So far, the club has only three people in it. Me, my sister, and Foofy. Foofy is club president. The three of us made a pact to stay best friends forever. Forever. Which is all I really wanted. Well, that and to climb Mount Everest. But first I have to figure out how to climb out of this playpen.